Hello, Just Too Good here, back for another review. And today I'm reviewing my first LEGO Friends Jungle Rescue set. This is set number 41036. It's called Jungle Bridge Rescue. It has 365 pieces, two mini dolls, and it retails for $30 in the United States, and it's recommended for just 7 to 12. Without further ado, let's take a look at the box. So here is a box for the set. Uh, cool design on the border right here. Uh, but it's kind of a confusing box with the set right here because a lot of the details on the background get in the way of the actual build with the bridge. Um, but other than that, the vehicles are kind of, you know, distinguishable. It's just a bridge that looks kind of weird. It turns to the back. It just shows all the little play features and whatnot and that you could connect all of them to the research base set. And also, you do get two instruction booklets, which are actually pretty thick for a $30 set. And also, here's the win picture for LEGO Friends. It just kind of shows Emma with a golden cup. So that's it, and now on to the mini dolls. All right, so here is Mia, and she actually has this exclusive torso, which is great because it's always nice getting exclusive printing and whatnot in sets. I actually thought it was going to be the same as one in the Jungle Tree Sanctuary, but reading Silent Mode's excellent review, which you can find a link to that in the description, it is actually different from that one. And you can see she has no back printing or whatnot, which is usually common on mini dolls. No back printing on her face for obvious reasons, or her headpiece, I mean. And you can see her front headpiece printing. And she does come with these little headphones in purple, which only come in one other set, which is the Heart Lake Mole. So that's actually kind of cool. And you can see they attach to the hair with that little peg right there. I'm talking about one other set with that color. And also, she comes with this nice kind of a yellow molded uh, little walkie-talkie right here, which does come in a couple of other uh, Friends at Rescue sets, so it's not exactly exclusive, but still a pretty nice addition. And here is the Matthew mini doll in the set. Um, he also has exclusive printing on his torso right there, which is actually really nice, and that same walkie-talkie that Mia has. And Matthew has come in actually another set, which was Heart Like High, and you can see he is very different from that version just for his torso print alone. Uh, but other than that, his face print right there comes in another set other than Heart Lake High in this set, which is the, I think it's called the Heart Lake Horse Show or something from this year. Um, and his shoes are the same as the one from Heart Lake High. But yeah, it's nice to get that nice little printing on his torso. So that's it for this minifigure, and now onto the set itself. So here is the first build of the set I'll be taking a look at, which is the helicopter. And for being the build that I know a lot of people were looking forward to, it's kind of disappointing um, in terms of design, really. You could fit one mini doll just fine by putting them in the middle right there, which is basically the purpose they have. And you could, of course, put this part down because it's on those hinges right there, and it is a nice piece to get. You know, it's not exclusive or anything like that. Uh, but really, it's, it kind of has this design flaw right here with basically this whole part being empty, you know. It looks really weird like that, and other than that, it's a very small and petite build. I mean, I know they were limited because this is a $30 set, and I'm sure that's what they were shooting for. So they couldn't make it the most detailed thing ever, but it's kind of disappointing to get this very small and kind of lame helicopter in, um, as compared to kind of putting a bigger one maybe in the biggest set or expanding upon this one and maybe not including the Jeep or whatnot, even though I do like the Jeep. Uh, so it is kind of disappointing in that aspect, but other than that... The little feature right here with the winch works fine, and it's easy to take it apart if it breaks, which was actually a problem with a LEGO movie set, which you guys could tell from one of my old reviews, uh, which was a super secret police dropship set. Uh, and there are some stickers all around. You got them stickers on the top rotor right here, which spins perfectly if you spin it around. So that's fine. Um, there's also some stickers on the side right here and here. Also a sticker inside the control part with the control panel. So, it's kind of a well-done sticker, and it's easy to put on, so I can't really complain about the stickers or anything like that. And just taking a look at the bottom of the vehicle, it's very kind of simple. So that's it for the little helicopter, and now onto the Jeep vehicle. Alright, so here is the second build from the set, which is this Jeep. Pretty cool build. It reminds me a little bit of some older, you know, late 90s or mid-90s uh, LEGO vehicles, where they're a little bit more blocky, which was the same feel I got from that Fire Chief poly bag from last year. But you do have uh, your fair share of stickers. You got one on the front right here, which says RS036. Wonder what that means. Also, you got one on the back with RS036. And you also get a double-sided sticker right here 
for the flag. Um, you do get some nice accessories. You get this little first aid kit, which is a very nice molding and whatnot, but it isn't exclusive to this set from my understanding. Also, you get this little syringe right here in that light blue color, which isn't exclusive molding or anything like that, but um, it's nice to get it in that light blue coloring. And also, you get this little, what looks to be maybe like a, a bottle of Germex or some soap or whatnot to clean your hands, which is a good message because whenever you go exploring, you should always clean your hands um, on the side. I have this little walkie-talkie right here where you could put, I guess, your past walkie-talkies or whatever from this set because you do get two walkie-talkies in this set, so it's a nice holder for that. And if you want to put two mini dolls, that's how much it fits. So you could just kind of position Matthew and Mia in there. And you can see they get along quite well and they fit perfectly, which is really nice. You just have to put one of their little hands up right there, but that's easy to do. And it's not a pain or anything like that. So overall, a very solid build. Here's the bottom look. They use those nice little tires right there for the wheels. Here's a look at the back again, a look at the top, a look from the front. So a very solid build, and now onto the main build of the set, which is kind of the bridge. All right, so here is a Jungle Bridge Rescue build. And I forgot to show this actually with the helicopter, but it kind of fits with this part, so I'll leave it in. Uh, but you get this little stretcher right here with the helicopter, which comes with that stickered part right there on this kind of stretcher piece. But you also get this little hanger part, which is exclusive to this set in this color, which is really nice. Uh, but what you're supposed to do is take the bear, which stands on this little Jungle Bridge part, put him in the middle right there, and then you wheel him up with the little... Uh, hook from the helicopter by putting the hook in the middle right there and you can kind of carry him away so That's actually a really cool detail and starting off. We'll take a look at the bear And you can see the bear is kind of this uh, uh Sand bluish or is I guess you sand or it's blue grayish coloring I'm not entirely sure you can see there's some printing on the front and that kind of makes him exclusive to the set just for the coloring of his fur alone because the bear mold actually comes in an animal pack so it's not entirely exclusive, but it's nice to get that coloring or casting, which makes him exclusive to the set. So you just kind of lay him on one of the bridge parts right there. And you can see he fits on there quite well. So that's very cool. And also you get some really nice pieces with the bridge. You get these 1x4 tiles in this kind of a, a brownish color, light brown it looks like, which I read are exclusive to the set. So that's really kind of cool. And you also get... Uh, one by four plates which are exclusive to the set in that color so that's really nice and you get these two extra tiles which kind of lay in uh, the little water part right here and that water part is a plate that's light blue I can name a few other sets that have it I know for sure Stephanie's Beach House has it um, and also you can kind of see just the build of this really comes together and it's a really well done build probably my favorite part of the set you got this side right here which is kind of this little grotto or maybe like a cave to put the bear in, and you also get this peg right here, which is on that two by two jumper piece in light green, where you could kind of put the bear in the cave, um, and it looks cute. You know, that's probably his little habitat or whatnot. Uh, so that's kind of a cool detail, and you kind of take him out if you want to because there's no studs inside that cave, so you can't get stuck in there. Also, you got that little frog piece right there, which is always nice to get. I remember one that used to be rare, but I have so many of them now especially in that green color. On the side, you get some more rock formation detailing. And you can see kind of the other side of, the, I guess, the bear's little cave right there. Also on the top of that cave, you get this nice little uh, brick-built tree right here, which is really cool. Um, really adds to kind of the grassy or uh, jungly detailing of this set. And you can see the bridge right there. And the bridge is my favorite part of this whole little build right here, so I'll get to that last. Uh, but you can see on the back right here of this segment, um, there is these two little hidden crystals. One's this light pink color, or magneta, and one of this is uh, this little diamond kind of coloring right there. So that's really nice. That's kind of hidden. And also on this side, you get this really cool vine right here, which comes in a few other LEGO Friends Jungle Rescue sets. It's kind of this rubbery material. Um, but it fits quite well with, you know, the brick, so it's not anything that's, you know, flimsy or whatnot. And you just have to put onto that clip, and it looks like that part fell off, but it got back on. And taking a look at that segment, you can see it's more of a grassy uh, segment compared to this one just for the vine alone. But back to my favorite part, which is this middle bridge. 
Um, it's a very simple build. It's basically your basic Lego bridge, but I always enjoy getting bridges. Um, you got these t kind of uh, three, or I mean four little plates right here, where or four little segments. You got this segment right here connected to this segment, connected to this segment. So it is very sturdy and it connects quite well and you can kind of easily put it onto that clip right there where it connects then put it onto receiving this clip right there. So that's really it. You could fit mini dolls on there if you want. Maybe make them standing or you could even make a whole action scene where the bridge breaks or whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool little build. And if you want to see what's under there, there's really nothing in particular that's like super interesting. So yeah, that's really it for this build altogether. A cute little build, uh, maybe a little bit too small for a $30 set, but it's still a pretty nice structure. So without further ado, let's take a look at the final verdict. Overall, this set is all right. I mean, the build right here is my favorite part with the bridge. I also think the Jeep isn't too bad because it kind of has that blocky look a lot of earlier LEGO vehicles had. But the helicopter is really kind of lame, which is sad because I know a lot of people were looking forward to this set for the helicopter alone. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. But there are some really cool pieces in this set. You get this little stretcher piece up here um, where this piece that goes on the stretcher, which is kind of like a, a handle part. And you get this exclusive bear kind of uh, casting right here with this kind of light blue grayish color. And also you get some nice coloring on these tiles of 1x4s. So you, these right here in this color are actually exclusive to the set. So it's nice to get that. You also get the new vine piece. So there are lots of nice pieces in the set. And also that's 365 pieces for $30. That's a really good deal. So I can't fault it too much because I do like the bills. It's just the helicopter that really kind of sucks. Um, and the two mini dolls aren't too bad either. You do get Mia right here, and this Mia is exclusive for her torso, and also this Matthew is exclusive because he has this kind of a little shirt right here, which is an exclusive printing for this set. So I do rate this set a B. I think the helicopter, which is kind of a major part of this set, is really disappointing. And the build, I guess, could be a little bit too small for this $30 set, but I think the Jeep right here, which is a little bit blocky, kind of makes up for it because it is a very cool design, and the pieces right here kind of make up for it. So that's my opinion on this set. Uh, I'll see you guys later with hopefully some more friends reviews. Tell me how I did on this one and peace out.